Hey guys, welcome to another How To with Matt Waters. This episode is going to be how to make the love shelf. Okay guys, so for this project you're going to need to have a miter saw. You're going to need either an air nailer or screws with an impact driver. You're going to need you a tape measure, you're going to need you a pencil, and you're going to need you a square. And then last but not least, you're going to need some 2 by 10 wood. Okay, so here's the basic layout of the shelf we're going to make. As you can see, we're going to need 4 at 6 and 3 quarters, 2 at 7 and a half inches, 1 at 15, 1 at 9 and a half, 1 at 3 inches, and then you're going to need 2 9 and a half pieces cut at 45s on both ends. Alright, so let's go ahead and measure a couple of our longer pieces first. Let's start with the 15 inch piece. Let's go ahead and cut that. We got a nine and a half inch piece. check off on my cut list right here which ones I've already done so I've done the 15 and the nine and a half so I've got seven and a half times two Six and three quarters, so let's load this piece of on the clock.
Now that we have all of the above from here, there cut, now we need to put our saw at a 45 so we can cut these two pieces. All right, guys, so now we got our saw set at a 45 degree angle. What I want you to go ahead and do is take one end, make sure you're past your cut line, and go ahead and cut your 45 on one side. I know a much easier way to do it, but this is for people that don't know really the easy way to do it. All right, so come from your furthest tip that you just cut at your 45 right there. All right, and what I want you to do is pull nine and a half, mark it on the side right here. Take your speed square, make that line on your side right there. Now you're going to line it up right here, make just a little mark right there, and then use your speed square again. Now, what I want you to do is you see where you made your line at, right? So you got this angle of a 45, you got your nine and a half mark, you're going to 45 this the same way. you get it right the tip of the blade right on that line so you got a perfect 45 <laughs> alright see there's one so you should have it looking just like that alright let's go ahead and cut the other one Alright, so there you go. That's what you should have right now at nine and a half. See? Boom. Alright, let's get started putting this thing together. Okay guys, so here's the bigger picture of the drawing. Um, as you can see, where all the measurements are is where all the pieces are going to go. Um, I encourage you to pause this video and recopy this or take a picture off your phone and use it to build. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's kick this to the side. Let's go ahead and get our 15 inch piece first. Alright, so we got our 15 inch board, right? So, I want you to flip it up on the side just like this. I want you to take two of your six and three quarter boards, right? You're going to place one in the front, like that. And you're going to place the other one in the back, just like that. And go ahead and nail those together real fast, just like this. Alright, so 
this is what you should have looking like right now. Now we want to take our seven and a half inch piece and we're going to nail it in place just like that. So, that's what you should have looking like right now. Now we're going to take another six and three quarter piece and we're going to place it inside right here. Alright, so now we can turn it around. Make sure it's nice and lovely and tight right here. And we're gonna nail this in. Right. So this is what you should have going on right now. Alright, so this is the top portion, All right? So let's go ahead and stick this whole piece to the side. Now what I want you to do is get your six and three quarter piece and your seven and a half inch piece and your nine and a half inch piece. So we got our three inch piece, our seven and a half, and our nine and a half. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our nine and a half on the side right here, right? What I want you to do is take your tape measure on your nine and a half inch board right here and I want you to mark two inches Alright, so now you got that marked, right? So what I want you to do is take your seven and a half inch piece and I want you to line it up just like that. And nail that together. So that's what you should have going on right now. So now I want you to take your six and three quarter piece. I want you to stick it onto the bottom portion right here. And then we're gonna nail it in place. All right, so that's what you should have going on right there. So well now what we're going to do is we're going to measure from the top down four inches. I'm going to put us a mark. And we're going to take our three inch piece right here and stick it in. And you want to put it in about the middle of the, the block. It's going to be great. and lined up and go ahead and nail that in. Alright. There's your E. You got your L, your O. Now it's time for the V. You will need to grab your two 45s that you cut at nine and a half, remember? Alright, so what the first thing I want you to do is turn this up. I want you to take this one. Alright, and we're gonna place it right on that two inch line mark for your two inch diameter right here 
I'm going to line it up nice and flush. I'm going to go ahead and nail that in place. Then we're going to take our other 45. Stick it right there. And then we're going to nail that one in place. All right, so now that's what you should have is a V and an E, all right? So let's go ahead and lay this down on the board. Just like that. We're gonna take our L and our O. And we're gonna connect the V to the bottom right corner of the O right here. Nice and level, nice and firm, tight on the corners right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and nail that in place. Now it's completed. Okay guys, that does it for today. This is how to build the love shelf out of a 2x10. Also, check out my other video where I show you how to make the exact same shelf out of 2x4s. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and always be on the lookout for new videos in the future. Have a great day guys.